Oh shit, there's the generator. Welcome to Project Z, an incredibly unique game that sounds and looks absolutely amazing. It's probably one of the games that I'm most excited for coming up within this next year. The vision for this game sounds so unique and takes some of my favorite things, namely historical Nazi mysteries, realistic environments, survival of first person shooters, and up to four player co-op elements and puts them into a game. I'm stoked to see how this project turns out. The developers of the game, called 314 Arts, just released their Kickstarter for early support and already have nearly gathered $16,000 backed at the recording of this script. A couple of days ago, they contacted me with a press kit, but I was already planning on making a video about this because I saw what they had, I saw their ideas, and I'm very excited. I'll link the game Kickstarter down below so you can check it out and see all the goodies and really have an in-depth look at what the game is and what you can pledge and what you can earn, especially if you decide to back them. But I'll give you what I feel like are the most important parts just so you know what to expect and when. My name is Tacti. If you find this video helpful and informative, a simple like would be a huge help for the channel. Thank you, gamers. All right, dudes, let's go over what this game is because it's got a very unique game design and I'm really excited to get my hands on this sometime. I'm not really sure how it's gonna play out, but it sounds fantastic. I think my favorite part about the game is that in general, it's a co-op or solo experience. It's not that PVP style of game. Some people like that only, and some people like co-op, but to me, co-op is usually a lot more fun to get a group of gamers together and really just a lot less sweaty. At least it's a lot easier to joke around a bit, but regardless, I'm excited for this unique design. From the information available, the gameplay loop looks to have a general story arc where you progress, but also has an extraction game mode to complement it. You're a survivor on a hidden island where Nazis have found zombies and have attempted to weaponize them to turn the tides of the war. It obviously didn't work, so then a bunch of Nazis on the island just became zombies. Some of them also remain unchanged and they are still on the island, so that's another faction that you're going to have to deal with. So now your goal is to progress through the game and establish a hub site, which sounds sort of like the settlement system in Fallout. You need to build it up, expand it, plant crops, have pharmacies, stuff like that. And then you've got to have AI teammates to manage these things. And then there are things that need constant resources to continue functioning. Let's say a generator is gonna constantly need fuel to keep running, otherwise it's not gonna be able to run to keep on the lights or whatever is needed for the generator in this game. It sounds like there are gonna be a lot of dynamics when it comes to this here. As an example, if your base is too loud, you're more likely to be attacked by a horde of zombies. I recommend keeping Preston Garvey handy. So it's a managerial game just as much as it is a raid game. And when it comes to raids, it's definitely an interesting approach. There are three different sections to the raid. The first is somewhat linear, with the second being a little bit more open, and the third part of the raid being what they compare to the size of customs being completely open. Here, you'll be able to explore, find weapons, find resources, and call in your AI teammates and head to one of the extract zones with your loot so you can take it back to the base. Now, that's a very general explanation of it because I'm not 100% sure how this is going to play out. I know some of it falls into the storyline, some of it falls into gathering AI, but I'm just not sure how this system completely works. I'm looking forward to seeing a little bit more gameplay to this. It sounds like it could be a really, really interesting, unique take on the extraction game modes. And then to go along with this, there's actually an advanced healing mechanic. So the healing system is sectionalized, kind of like Escape from Tarkov. If you've been bit or hit in the arm or your leg, your stomach or your head, all of these are gonna be monitored and you're gonna have to figure out how to heal yourself, what different resources you're gonna need, and if you need to get out of there as fast as possible. So the game in general sounds more like a hardcore managerial style of game because you're managing a lot here. You've got your hub site, you've got your health, you've got the resources that you need. All of those things are what you're really gonna be focusing on in the game, as well as some underlying story that you're gonna be following. And then of course, if a story mode isn't your thing, it's going to have a wave-based zombie experience. So they'll have a horde mode here, similar to the old Call of Duty zombies with perks and upgrades and just everything attached to that. So if that's your kind of mode, you'll have that available. Now let's go through the timeline here of what's expected and how things are going to be monetized, because obviously that's gonna be a huge part of this. 
If they're asking for your money now on a Kickstarter, you're going to want to know what this money gets you and what the future holds for this game. And honestly, when I heard this was going to be free to play eventually, I, I was sort of taken aback. This game does not seem like the type of game that's easily monetized, and the quality of the animations and gunplay doesn't scream free to play. But let's take a look at a couple different things so that you know what you're about to spend your money on. The first here is the timeline. Certain levels in the Kickstarter allow for alpha and beta testing. The first time you can get your hands on this game is expected to be 2023 quarter one. Then the following year, the closed beta will start in quarter one of 2024, with the game slowly being updated in the alpha throughout the year. Shortly after the closed beta, there's going to be an open beta in quarter three of 2024, where the game will be open to everyone, and then quarter four of 2024 is when the game is really considered completed. Obviously, this is all an expected timeline, and as we all know, games sometimes get delayed. The general problem I would have as a consumer when it comes to a timeline and a Kickstarter like this is that even though the game looks incredible, one never knows what life is going to bring a year or two from now. Some people stop playing video games because life comes at you fast. So that's one of the things that would make me hesitate to support any Kickstarter in general. But that's more of a personal thing, that's just where I'm at in life, and every gamer is different. Now, monetization and support. Right now, obviously they've launched their Kickstarter phase and they're gonna base the release on that. If they're able to achieve their goal of 100,000 euros, the game will come to PC and that's it. At 105,000 euros, you'll get to play it on GeForce Now or Google Stadia. At 135,000 euros, you'll get a level editor, so assuming you'll be able to craft your own maps, I don't know whether this will be for raids or the zombie horde mode or something like that. I'm not 100% sure here. Now onto the important ones, a console release will happen at 150,000 euros. That's just gonna be on Xbox, with a PlayStation release expected at 180,000 euros. Full customization for clothing is gonna be at 220,000 euros. And then to top it all off, full mod support is gonna happen at 300,000 euros. So you and your buddies can bring Master Chief on an island and show the Nazi zombies the weak sauce that they are compared to the flood. Now, when it comes to how the game itself will be monetized upon free-to-play release, the game is going to offer a battle pass, cosmetics and unique characters with unique abilities and their own exclusive missions, things like this. And then there may also be paid DLC such as maps, cosmetics, missions. Their aim is to be as fair as possible when it comes to how the game will continue to earn money, and I think a battle pass system is a fairly unique thing when it comes to co-op shooters like this. So hopefully, this does well. The only way we're going to know how this plays out is when it gets here. So we will just have to wait and see. It's a phrase pretty common in most of my videos when I'm talking about future games. Now, I've said it before, I'm a little sick of the World War II style of games, but man, this stuff just sounds cool. The entire story of it sounds really, really neat. The gameplay loop sounds like it could be super cool. The managing a settlement system sounds neat. And the graphics and gunplay look really, really good, at least in their prototype build here. The zombie genre is a little bit worn out, but I know that Back for Blood was a big flop when it came to the zombie experience. People were hoping for something a little bit different, so maybe this is something that can revitalize the genre a bit. I just love indie projects like this. I feel like the indie games are so much better because the passion and the art design that goes into them, I think that they're less focused on how to earn wads of cash from whales and more concerned about making a really good game. I believe this is just another one of those examples. The game looks great, it sounds great, and there aren't a whole lot of co-op only games like this out there. The design itself again sounds unique, and all of this on paper sounds good. The game could really, really be a huge hit, but we'll see how the funding turns out for this game. We'll see what kind of info we get over the next few months until that quarter one 2023 drop. In general, I'm just excited to see this game grow. I've had my eye on it for a while, so I would love to see it come to fruition. Again, the link is down below if you wanna check the game out and support it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, become a member, yada, yada, yada. Thank you so much. Until the next one, be bold, be courageous, stay tactical.